well, let's see if this makes any sense, but I'm going to try and pull off here. This semester is weird. We started a little late and we need to be done by December 18th. So I'm trying to figure out how to do that. What it basically means is as we're coming up here on lesson four, that we have four, five, six, seven, and eight. That means we have 10 weeks of work according to Highland uh, and nine weeks to do it. That's about where we are. And um, how can we pull that off? Here's my plan. And I don't want you to be overwhelmed by it. I want it to be freeing. But I also don't want you to live on credit and have to pay something off later and not have the time or energy to do it. So I want you to consider this. Uh, lesson four, it's an interesting section that we do here. Um, it's an exemplification essay, which is something I hadn't heard of till a few years ago. It, but really, it's, it's a, writing an essay about a generalized topic and then coming up with more specific examples and, and getting into a specialized perception uh, and description about it and discussing uh, the ramifications of looking at something in this way. And I will address that more specifically later. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to assign the essay yet. I have it here. I mean, it's not going to be due but I don't want you to do it yet. Uh, you know what? I'm just changing my mind. Mid, I'm not going to post it. I posted the other one and people started writing essays right away. I don't want you to write it just quite yet. So I'm going to wait until later this week, probably, when I can post a video saying, well, this is what I'm expecting when it comes to an exemplification essay. But that's what's weird, is that you get a choice this lesson. You could also write a compare and contrast essay. And uh, that seems easier to some people, but sometimes you get caught in this vortex of back and forth. Or, and it's not the easiest essay to write when you start getting into complicated issues. So before I assign that essay, I want to make sure you see what I want to do with this nine weeks to do 10 weeks worth of work because you also have a midterm that's supposed to be completed at the end of your fourth week. So automatically your stress is starting to rise. Like I'm supposed to write an essay and then do a midterm. Well, let me let you freak out for a second because I'm going to open up lesson four and lesson five tonight, but with a caveat. Lesson five is process analysis. That was when you were in fourth grade and had to write about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. All right. And taking a process and trying to write about it. And I think they know that they're pushing you pretty hard by having us do a midterm in lesson four. So they're like, let's take a break on them a little bit, take a breath, which I've been telling several of you to do, take a breath. And lesson five, does not have an essay assignment with it, all right? It does have some reading that I want you to take a look at. And it has a discussion forum that says, describe a process. And I want you to know that my plan right now is that all I'd want you to do is describe a basic process, a simple process, that if you were forced to write a big essay on, I'd love to write about this. And that's all I'm gonna ask you to do for that discussion forum. 10 easy points, but I just, I'd like to talk about putting a new head on a combine. This is what you would have to do. You'd have to do this then that and this and this and that. And uh, it'd be, you know, you don't have to go into much detail, just a few steps, maybe even step by step. But then you see this lesson five assignment. You're like, okay, that's 100 points. It's 100 points. It's an other writing assignment. It doesn't count towards your essays. And what it's really about is showing me you know how to cite sources. 
And citing sources is important because your final paper at the end of the semester is supposed to be a research paper. And these are supposed to be some of the sources you might use on that, you're not required to. But really it's just, do you know how to quote a source and then cite it? In my mind, this is my goal. I'm gonna open these two process analysis and exemplification slash compare contrast lessons. But all I'm going to ask you to do in your discussion forum for lesson four is add to your discussion forum commentary is I plan on completing these, this essay, the midterm, and this assignment here, this that I'm not even opening yet, not even posting to you yet. I want you to do the reading first. I'm going to complete these on these dates. This is the dates I'm gonna complete them by. And you have to complete the essay in the midterm within the next three, before Halloween. You pick the date to turn it in. Won't be late if you turn it in on Halloween. The essay needs to be in before Halloween, that's it. And this lesson five assignment, if you can't get it done before Halloween, I'm gonna ask you to email me separately and work with me on how we can get that done, all right? Because I'm squeezing, it's supposed to be four weeks into three. I'm gonna post these both at the same time. Some of you, You've got, this is your week to get some stuff done. I want to get some work done. Some of you are like, maybe in two weeks, I'll have some time. Some of you in two and a half weeks, maybe I'll have some time. So I hope that makes sense on the vision. I will give you some more specific feedback later this week on what I'm expecting for the essay. Oh, there, there's even a quiz. Like, wow, there's a lot to do. But knowing you've got three weeks to do it, you're going to see it all out front. And if you can't get this lesson five assignment with the others done before October 31st, you got to send me an email separate or a text. Some of you have figured out that I answer texts much faster than email. So there you go. Questions, email or text me. And I look forward to working with you. If you have questions or concerns about anything else, please let me know. I really am trying to be fair and helpful in working with people throughout this semester. I hope you have a good day.